I'm Mike Shot of Times Square there, and back now with our GMA cover story. That was just outside New York. That wasn't even Times Square. But <laughs> you, just, you just amuse yourself sometimes, yeah. don't you? you know, well, all week long, we have been looking at injectable drugs like Ozempic and Wigovi. And this morning, Becky Worley joined us with more information about getting the medications and how much they will cost you. Good morning, Becky. Michael, good morning. Ozempic and Manjaro, they were created originally to treat diabetes, but now they're often being prescribed what's called off-label to lose weight. They fall into a no-man's land between medicine that insurance companies cover, discounted off-label compounded versions of the drugs, and out-of-pocket prescriptions that can cost more than $1,000 a month. Ozempic, Wigovi, and Manjaro are drugs experiencing a big surge in use for weight loss. But there can be a big catch, the cost. Patients may not have coverage, and so if they elect to use them, um, they often are paying out of pocket, and the cost can be anywhere between $1,000 to $1,500 a month. Insurance coverage is all over the place. It varies by state, by company, and by your employer's plan. One industry group tells GMA that health insurance providers work to ensure the right medications are prescribed to the right patients and at an affordable cost. And evidence suggests that patients may not be able to maintain their weight loss once they stop taking the drug. Patients like Sarah Linderman of California and Tina Straw from Ohio both say they could not get their insurance companies to cover the drugs. I was like, okay, I can do $1,200 a month for a year, but I can't do, you know, I'm planning on you know, hopefully retiring soon. I can't do $1,200 a month indefinitely. So they turn to what's called a compounding pharmacy, where they pay about $300 a month for their supply. It was a no-brainer for me. You know, my out-of-pocket is not very much. A compounding pharmacy is a pharmacy that takes drug components and mixes them together to make a drug. Patients, if they need a specific drug um, that's not available in the market, or if they need a drug that doesn't have uh, a spe specific inactive ingredient because of allergy or, or something else. But some doctors worry about the safety of drugs from these pharmacies. It could be combined with something else that's not tested or safe. So in general, it's just really not recommended. But the National Association of Boards of Pharmacy says many compounding pharmacies get it right and are regulated by the states. Where I would get concerned is when you're going to purchase these compounded products online. The FDA says while these drugs are eligible for compounding because of shortages, compounded drugs pose a higher risk to patients than FDA-approved drugs because compounded drugs do not undergo FDA pre-market review for safety, effectiveness, or quality. The FDA's compounding program aims to protect patients from poor quality compounded drugs while preserving access to lawfully marketed compounded drugs for patients. For Tina, she hopes that one day she'll be able to get this medication without paying out of pocket. We look at alcoholism as a disease and we're getting better about mental health as a de disease. So we need to start considering obesity as well. We should note there has been a lot of news about shortages of these drugs and diabetic patients being unable to access them, but the FDA and the drug makers say those shortages have ended. Also, these medications are not covered for weight loss under most Medicare and Medicaid programs. This is a complicated issue. If your insurance denies coverage, experts say try calling back in a few months. It's a dynamic situation and coverage is constantly changing. George? It sure is. Okay, Becky, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.